Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest news, stories, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity and digital infrastructure. Joining me today is Chris Harper, who we know well. Happy to have you here on JSA TV. You are currently Strategic Board Advisor for Smart CIC and Group CEO for Petworth Enterprises. I am indeed. Correct. Thank you. Mouthful. All right. But I got it. Yeah. Uh, Can you tell us a little bit about Smart CIC specifically? But oh, wait. First, Mm -hmm. Smart CIC is smart. You know what else is smart? Your outfit. Okay. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your scarf, your shirt. The audience can't see your shoes. They're also all right. Well, I've got some some very interesting shoes as well. So thanks, Bob. It's lovely to be here, and thanks JSA for inviting me. Um, With regards to scarf, it's a it's a double edged sword, really. So I wear a scarf because everyone says, "Which one were you in the meeting?" And I don't like saying I'm the short one. I prefer to say I'm the guy with the scarf. Uh, But the other more serious reason is, uh, sadly, my son passed away uh, six years ago this November. Um, And so every morning when I get up, I just have a moment where I choose a scarf or a cravat just to have a think about him, put it on and out I go. So that's that's the reason behind the scarf. And it's quite an emotional one. Um, And six years on, um, it doesn't change. He died of cancer and it was horrible. But yeah. so then what about the shirts? Hey, and we're really going for it with the shirts. <laughs> so we've uh, Smart CIC are an atypical company. Um, and so we decided that we're going to have Smart Shirt Fridays. Um, and we're rolling it out to everybody. So any of our customers, any of our prospects, send us a picture of you in your smart shirt on a Friday. Let's yeah. not do dress down Friday. Let's yeah. do dress up Friday. And let's have a bit of fun with it because, uh, let's be honest, our industry isn't that exciting. So I try and put a bit of excitement into what we do. So yeah. that's uh, that's the reason behind the scarf. That's the reason yeah. behind the snazzy shirt, shoes, socks, yeah. you name it. Yeah, I, I mean, I wish I wish the camera would go down so we could see the socks <laughs> and the shoes. But trust me, they're special. They're smart. Um, and yeah, and we're it's not Friday, but it will be Friday by the time this show is over. It's Tuesday here, day one, exactly. right? Uh, past exactly. the Europe by on Friday. Maybe everyone can snap some photos once they're back in their respective homes and, and sending some photos. But yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you for that. And I always do remember that every time I, I see you and, and yeah. the scarf and I, I have a, a thought for you no, and, and your you. family. Um, so let's now talk about Smart CIC, the business. Yep. Uh, and so if you wouldn't mind giving okay. us a little bit of an so overview. I joined Smart CIC back in uh, May. We announced it just at uh, ITW. And my role there, it's a bit of a poncy title, Strategic Board Advisor. Um, yep. But in essence, I'm there to help uh, the owners grow the business, to grow it from a sales perspective and make it scalable. Um, and we have some specific fiscal targets that we're uh, working towards Um, but ultimately it's to grow sales um, and that's what I'm doing so what do we do Um, we provide in the line services end-to-end so what does that mean what's the line oh could you excuse me while this goes off Uh, uh, we that's a customer it's a customer wondering where I am. Right. Yeah. Um, so we provide the line services. So that could be point to point, could be DIA, could be broadband, yep. could be fixed wireless access. And fixed wireless access is not the new kid on the block, but the rising kid on the block. So we provide the line, we provide the equipment, yep. we can do the shipping of the equipment, we can install the equipment, we can connect it to the line, and we turn the service up. And then when it breaks, we can send the engineer to fix it. Yep. So what does that give our customers? Control of delivery. So the traditional method is you buy the line from someone, you buy the equipment from somebody else, someone ships it for you, and someone else installs it for you. So yep. you've got four moving parts there. Those four moving parts are all controlled by four different companies. So something's going to go wrong, and quite often it does. So what we do is we take that out of the equation, and we just run the whole project so gives you control but also it reduces the total contract value because suddenly the americanism we don't have to do truck rolls every time yeah we just have one guy going out doing all the work so one company installing everything no more multiple visits and our our motto or our tagline is to make our customers look good in front of their customers so we're not interested in 
going after the end customer. We're working with the big carriers, making them look good in front of their enterprise customers. Right. And that's our USP. Okay. And and beyond that, you I mean, I believe that you refer to, I, it's in the company name, yeah. Smart CIC, right? You yeah. refer to your offerings as smart offerings. And, it, and so, yeah, let's talk about that in terms of what makes your offering smart for the digital infrastructure so, space. <laughs> couple of examples. So we look at the total solution or the total problem. Yep. Um, some customers come to us with problems. Some come to us asking for uh, a total package. So if we give an example of Aldi stores, I don't know if you heard of the Aldi stores in the yep. US, um, but in six countries in Europe for Telefonica, we staged the equipment, we installed the equipment, and we did the total maintenance of the equipment. So... 24-7, we are sat waiting for something to go wrong in an Aldi store. Right. Our guys go straight out and they fix it. They're on site within one and a half hours. Right. Now, that's quite an industry-leading standard. Most people are four hours. Aldi are very strict. They want it in one and a half hours. So when Telefonica came to us with that request, that wasn't how they were going to do it. So we looked at it from a smart perspective and said, this is the better way to do it. They were sending the equipment to the locations, not to the engineers. Send it to a location, it gets lost. Send it to an engineer, it's his job to make sure he's got it. Just makes a great difference. Another example would be for British Telecom. Um, we do BP petrol stations yep. in Poland, Germany and Spain. Um, for that, we provide the connectivity, the equipment, the install and the brake fix yeah. and in that case things are trending towards fixed wireless access so we're seeing a move away from dia and broadband and more in fact that's probably not true move away from broadband towards fixed wireless access yeah. so that's how we we do things smarter so we had another customer come to us they got problems with demarcations their service has been bought by a very large carrier and dropped over there, and they need it over there. The system says no. That large carrier, and I used to run Sprint International for a long time, I know that large carriers, if the computer says no, they just can't do it. They can't work around the process, but we can. So we look at, this, look at the problem, give a smart solution, off we go. Yeah. So your smart solutions come from, obviously, the 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 goal and the mission of smart CIC, but also yeah. from you, your background, right? You've, I know that you've been around a long time. You mentioned yeah. uh, Sprint. I, yeah. I knew you when you were working with Bell and, yeah. uh, and lots of other um, roles that you've held over the years. Yeah. And, and so you, you started, you've started to talk and touch on a little bit, uh, some of the, the moves that are happening in the industry and some of the trends, but can you talk a little bit more, sort of peel back from that a little bit and, and just what you're seeing in general in the industry as some major trends? So it's very interesting. If I go, if I go back to my very early days, I, I started working in this industry in Russia. Um, I worked in Russia in the late nineties. It was a bit cowboy territory. Yeah. Um, a lot of fun. And I took a, a Japanese manufacturer into Russia and into South Africa. Uh, then I joined a carrier's carrier during the dot com boom <laughs> and the dot com bust. Our biggest client when I was right. working for that carrier was Sprint. Sprint oh, took me on board and said, can you build a worldwide network? Yeah. And we built a worldwide network. And I ran everything outside of the US for Sprint for the best part of 15 years. Um, then uh, I took a lovely package, I'll be very honest. Yeah. Um, and I own a number of other businesses. So you referred to Petworth Enterprises. Yep. Petworth Enterprises is my investment vehicle and I invest in a number of businesses, including recruitment, travel, blah, blah, blah. Um, then I came back and joined Bell. Bell wanted to grow their services internationally. Uh, Rob A and I knew each other very well because I was his customer. Yep. Uh, sorry, he was my, no, I was his customer, yeah, back in the day. Um, and we built out during COVID and we had, we had some good success. Uh, COVID held us back, to be honest. Right. Then I went to Eastern Europe um, and I worked with Natera. Um, I was chief revenue officer for Natera and we saw some very dramatic success there. And again, what was that success driven by? That was really people moving away from the larger carriers and moving to an SD-WAN solution. Yeah. So they have an SD-WAN overlay and an underlay. Yeah. 
and the underlay is the place that place that we play in so that could be fixed wireless access that could be broadband it could be dia um, so at that point now we're seeing that enterprises are looking they're always trying to reduce costs and the first place they look is on the it shop um, so it really is that side of the business that we're concentrating on now we're looking at how can we help our customers reduce the costs to their customers whilst mm -hmm. keeping service at least as good as it was and some days i'll be honest that's a struggle um, yes. but if you look at our latest product cell smart so cell smart is all over linkedin at the moment um, and that's where we have a number of vehicles traversing the globe literally um, testing the 4G and 5G networks, yeah. because you can look at the maps of all the providers and they'll all tell you where they are. We know exactly where they work and where they don't. We can tell you to a specific location who is on net there, who's nearly on net mm. and who isn't working at all. Right. Um, so yeah, that's that's yeah, what we're seeing. Hmm. So, you know, just sort of to, I guess, close our conversation, mm. it's always, we always need more time, I think. There's yeah. so much to talk about, but, you know, I think we're sort of, nearing the end of day one here at yeah. Capacity Europe. Um, we'll have a, another one of these next year, but yeah. but when, let's focus on this week. And, and what are you hoping for the most, you know, in some of the conversations you're having with folks this week? So obviously my, my prime job at Smart CIs is to drive sales. Right? Yeah. We've come here with a, a big sales team, a yeah. uh, very experienced sales team, and we're looking to get more business, obviously. Um, but we're really... We're looking to work with customers in non-traditional ways. So, you know, I'm not going to say I've got the best service in that country. Yeah, I'm going to say, what's your problem? Let me provide you mm. the solution. Right. And then from there, we get an intelligent conversation because otherwise we just become a commodity. And yeah. we've seen what that does. It drives price, prices down. And it was an old friend of mine that said, that's the race of the pigs. And we don't right. need to go there. So, <laughs> right. okay. So for our viewers who may want to connect with you during the week yeah. or, or after the show is over, how can they connect with you? So uh, chris.harper at smartcic.com yeah. or upstairs in booth 318, okay. Smart CIC. You oh, can't, perfect. You booth 318. And that's not only... Right now, we have one of our uh, smart vehicles traveling through Manhattan. Oh, really? And you can see all the test results live from Manhattan today. Oh. And it'll be in Manhattan Tuesday, probably till lunchtime on Wednesday. Oh, great. So, yeah. There oh, we go. That's fun. All thanks right. for sharing that. Great. And thanks for joining us. No, Chris, well, thank you. Always thanks a pleasure. For asking. Yeah. All right. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Until next time, happy networking. Thank you.